the white people, the flu and microwave sickness share many of the same symptoms. This is an article from January 18th, 2018, so a couple years ago. Germs may be everywhere, but so are Wi-Fi and other sources of electrical pollution, electrosmog. There's a whole lot of sickness going on right now. The media is reporting that much of this is due to the flu. Microwave sickness and the flu actually share many of the same symptoms. Doctors introduced the term microwave sickness in the 1950s. It is caused by exposure to Wi-Fi and other sources of electrical pollution, which is also referred to as electrosmog. What most refer to as Wi-Fi is wireless frequency, which is actually wireless radiation. Wi-Fi is produced by microwave frequency, which is actually microwave radiation, like what cooks food in a microwave oven. This is also sometimes referred to as radio frequency radiation, or RF. Many medical professionals aren't aware that as many as one-third of the population is sensitive to some degree to sources of Wi-Fi and electrosmog. Symptoms and severity may vary. Microwave sickness is sometimes referred to as electrosensitivity. Misdiagnosis is common because there are so many symptoms that could be attributed to other health issues or environmental factors, behavioral, emotional, and mental health are also affected by Wi-Fi and electrosmog. Cell phone and wireless radiation was classified as a Group 2B carcinogen in 2011 by the World Health Organization. Many scientists insist there is enough research to classify it as a group 1 carcinogen. Microwave sickness also affects pets and plants and wildlife. Exposure to Wi-Fi and other sources of electrosmog may not be the primary cause of every illness. However, they can still make other conditions worse. Citizens for Safe Technology President Frank Clegg was once president of Microsoft Canada. He stated, electrosensitivity is not like an allergy you are born with. It is an illness that builds up over increased time and radiation exposure. Just as we cannot yet explain why some individuals will die from secondhand smoke and others can live a long life smoking two packs a day, we cannot explain why some individuals react to wireless radiation. Source Vitality Magazine. Not everyone is affected exactly the same way or to the same degree by any type of carcinogen, pollution, or toxin. The truth may not be easy to stomach, but it can set you free. Alrighty, so the reason I'm bringing this up is I am wondering if this Wuhan flu is actually 5G sickness. I have no conclusive proof of it, but I see a lot of people speculating online. And I haven't really read too many of the articles. What I've been doing is I've been going back and trying to find older articles from at least 10 years or more from now. I know this article is from 2018, but... Anyway, I'm trying to find old articles to back that up. But see here, 5G is a different kind of technology. You know, it has some different, I don't know what you'd call it, just how it'll have different symptoms. So unless I can find something specifically about 5G, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find the answer to it. But a lot of people are speculating. And you see this huge list of health issues caused by Wi-Fi or radiation. Anyway, so anything can cause any of these issues that are in this huge list. All right, white people, that's the damage for today. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to your comments below.